Hi, I'm Pat Prescott from 94.7 The Wave in Los Angeles here on the Capital Jazz Super Cruise 2015 with my dear friend, one of the finest saxophone players I know, uh, a master of the soprano saxophone and a very interesting guy as well, Marion Meadows. Hey! The original m, &M. <laughs> Well, you, you, know, know, <laughs> you know, we go way back, so we do. New York days. Yeah, back to the East Coast. We've, we've been friends for a long time. But you know, one thing that I know that people ask you about and I would love for you to talk about real quickly is um, just your ethnic background and how all the pieces of you come together to help you make the music that you're doing to be the person you are. Well, you know, I have a pretty diverse uh, family tree, and uh, actually, my my father's mother's mother is is an actual daughter. The grandmother is an actual daughter of Robert E. Lee. Believe it or not, wow. she <laughs> she married my grandfather. She was married to another man that she had four children by, and then she married my grandfather and they said well you can't marry him but she did and had my dad and it's an interesting family history you know and uh i mean my my whole family's been so diverse and but quite honestly i think that's the thing that kind of um that kind of permeated in my family about you know all the things that that we at a, at a very early age and i was born in west virginia in an actual coal mining town but my dad didn't want to be a coal miner he says i got to get out of here and he and his brother, you know, went to school. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, because coal mining, pretty much you, you, you were going to get black lung. And he says, I got this young family, and, and we got to get out of here. And then we left West Virginia and came to Connecticut, and I was still saying, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Because <laughs> that is the Southern. That's how we yeah. were raised. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got, some, you've got some Native American, My mom? African American. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Your Robert E. Lee side. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. Because I asked my oh, dad yeah. how they met, and he said that my mom, they, they were at a Count Basie uh, dance, uh, I mean, concert. And he said, he, and he goes, I saw her against the wall, and I went over. She was so beautiful. And he goes, and I said something to her. She said, go away, you're too short. <laughs> <laughs> he says, but yeah, I got a job. <laughs> and they just said, okay, we can come back. <laughs> well, we know we hear a lot of that diversity in your music and also just kind of in the way you comport yourself. I mean, so many people relate to you. I've been watching you on the cruise, and this is not our first time cruising together, um, but you are one of the artists who everybody likes, and, and you always are willing to be open and talk to them. Don't you talk, talk about this experience on the cruise and what that means to you? Well, you know, it, it, it kind of quantifies what I became you know and, the, and and not even the reason I became because obviously that choice it, you know it, it just came out of the blue for me I was I was really a kid academic I was more like a science kid but I played music and then when that light bulb went off I, I was no turning but I jumped all the way in and uh, the music experience itself has enabled me to live a life that I would have never experienced and the people that I'm around it's just so much love. I can't even, in a million years, I can't express how much love I've gotten and continue to get from, and I look forward to coming to, especially a cruise, because we all get to hang out. Mm -hmm. we, it's not just the fans, but we musicians finally get a chance to go see each other, hear That's each right. other really play. Because, you know, when we're doing concerts, we'll get in the band and leave. Maybe we'll hear a couple songs, and we'll get there to hear the other band before they go off. But here, we get to actually watch each other's shows hang out and you know and but the camaraderie is something that's always there and me in particular uh, I'm here with the blessings of Walter Beasley who was supposed to be here unfortunately uh, he had something uh, to, to do with his uh, Achilles and so he uh, he's like I, I I'm not gonna try to make it so he was gracious enough to talk to me about coming and and mention my name and then they call me and so that's how it works you know and it's a lovely community of people and I and I just love being a part of it. That's the most rewarding part. Yeah, it me. really is. And and this cruise experience is not um, unlike how really how you started your career because when you worked with Norman Connors, that's a that was kind of like a melting pot for no doubt. great. Look at all yeah. the great musicians who yes. have come out of that school, as and, it were. And I had heard <laughs> him with uh, Farrell Sanders, which is kind of like the. I went into more avant-garde style of music when I got out of college, but all through college I was really more of an avant-garde kind of player. You know, I didn't really do anything funky smooth, but I, I shouldn't say that because, you know, as a horn player you're going to get little gigs doing stuff like that, but my choice for music was very avant-garde, and I would be playing with people like Rashid Ali, Kasa La, Juma Sutan, all these guys from New York, uh, uh, James Blood Omer, and then um, I... <laughs> 
<laughs> I met Jay Chataway. You know, my story is is that I was that I was homeless. Oh, that's the Grand Central. Yeah, the Grand Central. I was homeless. I was a homeless. I was going home on the train, but I let the embellishment go with. <laughs> but I was actually waiting to go on the train and pull my horn out in the middle of the night. That's about one o'clock in the morning. So there's nobody in there. And what great acoustics! Oh my God! It's, <laughs> it's, crazy, it's like being right? in the Taj Mahal. It's like da, da, da. and so this guy comes running up to me, and I, I thought the guy was a security guy. So I'm trying to put my horn away. He goes, No, no, no! And it was Jay Chataway, you know, who worked with Bob James. And Jay Chataway, for those who don't know him, uh, did music for Star Trek, and he was an incredible composer, orchestral. So just to meet him uh, was was a blessing. But then he, um, you know, he introduced me to Bob James. Uh, we did some recording together in hopes of putting out a record on his Tap and Z label. And, and unfortunately, his label folded up. We didn't we didn't ever do a record, but that was my foray into meeting guys like Eric Gale and Steve Gadd and these and this whole CTI thing, and which I was kind of following, uh, but all of a sudden I was in it. In the mix. I yeah. was in the mix. Yeah. And my friend Najib was doing his first record shortly after that, and, uh, and then I got mad. So I said, I gotta get serious about this. <laughs> well, the, the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> That's right, it was. And uh, you got a lot of fans, a lot of them here on this ship, and, and a lot of them uh, watching this uh, on, on the internet. So I would love for you to take a moment just to tell everybody how to stay in touch with you and uh, maybe share a little bit of your gratitude for them. Yeah, um, stay, in, stay in touch with me at uh, marionmeadows.com, Marion Meadows on Facebook, and I have with me right here, uh, if you see me, my new CD, which is didn't make it on the ship because I came all of a sudden, but you, if you see me, I give you a little coupon, 20% off, and go to my website. That's what it's all about, you know? He's got some in his trunk. Too. And I got some in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> trunk of the car. I can go out to the trunk of the car and get some. <laughs> it's always great to talk to you, man. Always, Pat. <laughs>